What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off what happened in the last episode, um, the answer is not a lot. Mainly because we're pretty much building our position here in North Africa and I'm debating in my own head whether I want this region to become a school or not. And the answer is maybe. It'll increase reform problems, but right now we're currently neutral. We have a scope to reduce our religious unrest by 10, as well as upgrading our government building to also help with oppression. Apart from that, I would like to attack Morocco, but there's too many camels. <laughs> um, I can't send any troops west out through the gap of Gibraltar to take pirate lands because Spanish have sailed the navy and blocked the strait completely. I can't even send a small army of militia out there. Which I would love to do. Um, but I'd very much like to take the Moroccans first. Well, the Moroccans are the, is what I would like to catch. Or who I would like to beat. But they have... I, camels I find very scary when you don't really have anything to stop them. Ooh, we're losing a lot of income now. Good. Oh, it's good. Are we no longer have we got we've we've lost a trade partner. Okay. We'd like to trade with Austria, but can't. We'd like to trade with Russia or Spain, but can't. Genoa maybe? Crimea, maybe? The Marathas would be good, but they're too far away. There's lots of scope for them to be interdicted. Can't trade with Britain either if we make peace. Try to make peace with Sweden, but not having it. Don't, don't know, don't trade with them. I've got to try Crimea first. Hey, Maratha it is. No, Maratha won't have it. Prussia won't have it. Neither will 13 colonies. Wait, what answer did Prussia give? Well, they're certainly not happy about it. In which case then I'm probably going to scupper one of my ships. Let's see how that helps. Yeah, definitely does help. So these these Zebex raiding aren't actually providing more wealth than it costs to keep them going. So let's get rid of them. Although weirdly there's a... Okay, just the one was helping. Hmm, how odd. Okay. See, if I could make peace with the Barbary states. And I'll state gift, peace. Counter offer. No. If they could trade, that would be interesting. But I want to make peace so I can allocate these guys, and especially the pikemen, over to this front and then attack Morocco. Oh, that's not good. But at least the Ottomans it looks like they've broken our trade agreement to sign on with someone else. Okay. Got to try to find a new trade partner. Well, let's just hope that's not a prelude to attack. Because it could well be. So I can't even trade with any of the colonial nations. They're usually great to trade with. I would prefer to trade with a Catholic nation in the Med, if I could choose. Okay, we've got some new options. The Mughal Empire. The Ottomans are... Oh, they're, they're there again. Let's get the trade, trade agreement back. 
to help keep our friendships high. Good religious unrest is going down. Don't you have any religious happiness? They've grown their army by this. They've recruited general, that's what they've done. Okay, now we're back to 800 cash again. We've got the new roads, we've got the top farm. The only thing to build would be more government stuff. Russia's taken Iasi, so the Ottomans really do have a problem. The Russians have pushed back hard. I think I do want a school in that region in Algiers. I think I really do. It will be difficult and it will cause problems, but I would like a school to help promote the growth of my own troops and also to make my armies better for their size. So it's going to take some time, seven turns, we need to keep the unrest going down. Is it worth building up to a seminary? Getting into some real food shortage problems. I don't think we need to upgrade to you yet. I think we hold off and wait another turn to build the next government building. Let's hit them and then come back. Because if we get a school. I can get roads, I can get bigger ports, I can get good stuff. I can start to increase the firepower of my small region as it is. Like I said, I want to take Morocco, but without square formation at the very least, my men could just get destroyed by camels because my cavalry can't protect them. Not against camels. Okay, go for Governor's Mansion. We don't really need troops, because you can build militia, basic militia as it is. Especially as troops make sense now, a military capital makes sense now, but if I take Morocco and I take Tunis, then, then, it, then it stops making sense. So I may as well build Governor's Mansion to maximise trade and get that repression bonus. And my army may need to go back into garrison Algiers while the religious unrest starts to take... <laughs> it starts to make its make headway. It doesn't have to be a university for the whole game. Just for some of the initial early texts. Things like farms. Things like physiocracy to open up more trade spots. Things like square formation and bayonets. Early game tech is, can be very useful. And it's growing fairly consistently because we've got this good port. The Austrians and Ottomans are at war. Good, that's another thing I haven't got to worry about. Let's not worry about... Or do I just upgrade you just to get it over with? I think I probably do. Good. Religious unrest is really starting to go down. Yeah. This strategy, the last time I did it, was a lot of... There was a lot of turn burning going on. There was a lot of... You know, turning the handle. Because I didn't want... Well, because A, there's not much to do, and B, if, you, if I rush things and my army gets destroyed, then I'll be knackered. It looks like the Ottomans have won against the Austrians. It looks like there goes the Austrian navy and the Venetian navy.
but it keeps the war focused away from me. A war between major powers, not friends, enemies. That's what I want to see. The Venetians have sunk a small Ottoman fleet. Are they trying to go home? If they try to go home, they're going to get intercepted. Yep, they've been destroyed. So we're getting a cool grand turn. Isn't massively useful. I mean, it's better than nothing. But what it means, we've not really got anything to spend it on. Not until we get a school built. At which point, like I said, my army will probably... Uh -oh, I heard I heard a Italian voice. Yep, there they go. So they got killed, which is okay. And my light galley inside the port got killed. That's not a problem. I wasn't overtly worried about them. It might be worth seeing, as I've just suffered a great defeat at sea. Do we use that as uh, fodder to attempt to make peace with Britain? Maybe. Maybe I do. I mean, with those ships there, I can't. I definitely can't break out into the trade zones. And there's a question of whether it'd even be worth doing, considering my uh, ships will just get destroyed immediately. So I'm about to lose a bit of trade because the Ottoman port got blockaded. Not blockaded, raided. Full on raided. Yep, yeah, only made about 300. Flick destroyed, flick destroyed. Let's build a galley just to sit in there and hold up. Three turns till the port's developed. Tunis are starting to grow. Oh god. The British are coming. The British are finally coming. Wait, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Wherever they land, I will have to attack. I can do some jiggery pokery with my forces because I've got those ports either end of my kingdom, for the want of a better word. I can transport my armies around fairly quickly. So I suspect they will choose to land at Tunis and we can get our army back to Tunis fairly quickly. The same guy with a new army. Apparently Nelson's become a general now. Come on, Britain, let's just chill out. So I think they're going to land at Tunis, or attempt to. And these guys can get to this port. I can sail them, hypothetically. Sail them around. Yeah, they've got a, still got a good range. Sail them around to here. And then march them up into position. So let's... Do something like this. I don't want to move them away from... See, if they, even if they, if they land at Algiers, that becomes a bit of a problem. But I could... I should be able to still sail these militia around to help. It's a pity they happen to pick, like, the right at the moment where I had to... Uh, where I, need, I need my units. They've got the seminary, so I can get start to get religious happiness when my population gets sufficiently Catholic. So we're only going to get 300 until the Ottomans repair the port. Oh, that's not great. Are they going to go for Malta now, bizarrely? Because now my port's empty. 
Nope, they've gone for tuners, which is as expected. But I can bring my main army around quickly to bring them to battle. And because they've got lots of Scottish Highlanders, that's lots of melee infantry, and they're not... they never really use the Highlanders that well. They kind of treat them as short-ranged infantry, not like proper line troops. So we do have a bit of freedom there. So, where's my guy? All the way over here. You, let's get you back here. My Admiral died. You guys, get into Oran. Board ship. The ship can sail to here, skirting the zone of control. Disembark. Take the other ship that hasn't sailed. He can go back around to take position up at the port again. The Ottomans have repaired their port. Let's take our army. Oh, too bad. They're not going to be able to uh, get to battle in time. So I think my option, my main and only option, is to fall these guys back. Give up Tunis. Because I can't get my army there in time. They can only move that far. I think what I do is I move my army up. Bring these guys attempt. These guys shouldn't have a movement a movement like a radius of action. Bring them back and then get ready to uh, take the city back. So I'm going to lose it, which means I'm going to lose my seminary. So I've got some income protection for losing the town. But it's we pretty much need to do it. Oh, I can... They're close enough now. They can actually fight with the defence. <laughs> Let's do it. Might not even lose the town. <laughs> so my garrison force, is their job is just to do as much damage as possible. They probably will not do enough. And desperationally, maybe that could have worked if I left my garrison in the town. But I'd feel more happy having a big block of troops. Okay, let's put... Let's form a real pocket. A real little redoubt <laughs> in order for my men my main army to come in So these guys, they're just going to hunker down in a little formation. Fire off whatever artillery they can. The building captured. Oh yeah, because they're in... Oh no, they're going to... They're going to they gonna die. Mortar garrison. Let's see if you can do anything useful. You try and bombard that unit of Sakers. goes out to form a line. Yeah, don't know what to do, do you? It's going to take a bit of time to form my line up over here. I don't want to just charge them in because they will die. Here comes the enemy cavalry.
Try to see off the enemy cavalry. They are forming a slight defensive position against me. They've repulsed their initial cavalry attack. They are charging up to us. It looks like one of the units is going to successfully flank around us. Go, go, gadget cavalry. Putting on spikes? Yeah, they are. Send a general unit, send one of my cavalry units to go in to set their artillery. Fellas, fire! Quick, quick at short range! Go on, Python, sort them out. These poor souls up here. Okay, let's get my regiment of horse, oh, one of my regiments of horse over here to actually support the uh, the defence. Okay, pikemen go after the war on um, warband or the warband. These are Highlander warband. They're melee infantry, but they're for some reason wasting them with pot shots. Pull you back. Okay, let's try to break these white Highlanders as quickly as possible so they can go back and kill those pikes. Good, they've been shattered. Let's charge into the line. The main attack onto my entrenched position has uh, petered out somewhat. My militia. Get out of the way. Yeah, don't feel as good now, do you? Regiment of horse, nail it back. God, 
Pokemon are just so good. And my guns. Let's get my. Another infantry to bear. So they, they are holding them off back here. So my pikemen come over here now. This Highlander warband. Dude, I did want you guys to run away, but that's not going to happen now. Take him out. Okay, let's maybe not push you guys up quite so aggressively if they're running after my cavalry. There we go. These men have held off in their little redoubt against uh, against the border. They've they've survived. Come on, then, men. See, my pikes are just... They're, they're just so good. I love pikes. Mm, he's only going to lose this exchange. Let's halt my mortars now, because they're actually... They could be firing closer to somewhere that actually matters. I'll probably direct my artillery fire. March my pikemen back up, get my general to start knocking out some Highlander warbands. Yeah, just kill the enemy. So it looks like the 16th Regiment of Militia is going to be incredibly upset. Okay, my generals killed them successfully. You go after them. You keep going after them. Good stuff. Get to the top of that hill. Pour fire into the flank of those units. That are attacking the town. Okay, now you chase them down. Good. Take out the warriors. Oh, they're gonna rout. Sadly, he's gonna make it. Good, so let's make sure to direct the majority of my cavalry over in that direction because these guys should be able to kill these guys. 
Artillery's doing an excellent job. Yep, there they go, they've all routed. Damn right, continue. Should go for the line infantry, I think. I don't know how many of them... Oh, no! Break off the attack! <laughs> Line infantry is what I'm most concerned about. Because you know, militia, I can kill militia. But British, but British regular infantry. Ah, you're trying to. Okay, let's turn off my howitzers so there's no friendly fire. Good stuff. Let that be the last time King George attempts such a stunt on our shores. Stra you know, it's not going to happen, but damn. Close victory. I don't know how much of a slaughter it was, but hopefully it was a lot. Yep, they've only got 300 men remaining. You devils! Back you go! So we managed to keep the city, which is a nice surprise. Well, <laughs> I'm so happy that my little garrison held off. I thought they would get swamped and die. Um, but I'm so glad they survived. Just goes to show, if those were militia or armed citizenry, um, they would be dead. So let's take the bulk of these men out and just take him out. How expensive is this going to be? 2,600. Not as bad as I thought. And we've also got a town built. And let's also take... So it's all of you bar these dudes. March you over there. You guys can stay where you are. Still got a lot of religious unrest and people in government are getting worse. Plus one management, plus one happiness, no classes, plus one management, plus one nobility. Okay, so he's five stars basic. Screaming out to replace this guy because he's got a harsh reputation. And he's got the status quo. So yep, that should help deal with two of our main troublemakers. And then let's, uh, before we do anything, school. So it's going to add a bunch of clamour for reform. But town watch repression is meant to go up. Oh, dude is getting in position. I'm running about 2600 a turn, and then soon, in a couple of turns, we'll start to be able to build some. do some basic research while keeping ourselves alive and keeping us looking at Morocco. Who still just has. I mean, the infantry is not a problem, it's, it's just these camels. I really dislike camels. Um, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, with one last attempt to try and make peace with the Barbary States. Nope. <laughs> It's time to end the episode. Actually, I might actually quickly try and make peace with Bran now. No. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And I hope you'll agree, this strategy is working. Might not be as fast as the others, but it is still working, and I'll take that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.